Uh, this I, I'm going to take a minute here and um, uh, explain some basic, basic things that you might not have thought about when it comes to chords. And uh, I'm going to go back to my wonderful scale. Remember, everything comes from the scale, everything. And so uh, here's here's something about chords. In, a, in an earlier video, I showed you how to harmonize the scale. I want to talk about um, four different types of scales. Actually, I only want to really talk about two uh, of chords, that is. And one is four, four basic types of chords you're going to use very much are a major chord, which is a major triad, which is what I want to talk about. And that is the beginning um, form uh, for the other forms of the chord, which are minor chord uh, and a uh, diminished chord and an augmented chord. I want to talk also about the dominant seven chord and uh, how you make a major seventh chord and a dominant seven chord and what the difference is between them and where they fit into um, the, the scale and chords. Maybe I'll get to that, maybe not. But I want to start the triad. The triad is the one, three, and the three and the five. So it's do me soul, do me soul, do me soul. One, three, five, and there is your major triad. That is a major chord. I will add that if you if you skip, you go to the one, skip the two, come to the three, skip the four, come to the five, skip the six, come to the seven. Now that last part is what makes jazz. So you're adding the seven. So you now you have the one, three, five, seven. When, you, when, when I do a video on arpeggios, we'll use the seven. But the basic, the the, the basic um, <laughs> major triad is the one, the three, and the five. And you can start to understand how chords are constructed, and it's helpful rather than just learn. This is a major. Uh, this is a D chord. This is a D minor chord, and now I know a D minor chord, you know. It, it, it helps to understand what makes it a minor. What makes it a minor is very simple. This is very simple. You flat the third. So if I go do, me, sol, me, do, if I flat the third, I'll go do, me, sol, me, do. That's it. That's all there is to it. You flat the third. You lower the third a half step, which is one fret. So in C, the C is the root, E is the third, G is the fifth. All you do is make the E an E flat. And that's true with all chords. Another thing to remember about all chords, even the ones that are harmonized within a specific scale, like the ones we did in C, we'll just stay there. Um, each one of those chords is built from the major scale of the root note of the chord. The root note being the, usually the, always the name of the chord. So C is the major triad. C. It's the one, the three, and the five from the C scale. A D chord is built from the major, from the D major scale, which has an F sharp and a C sharp in it. And uh, er, er, in the last video, I explained that the five shapes takes care of all of that, so you don't really have to learn that rote. Um, it'll it'll just sort of evolve as you practice those shapes. Uh, much of this stuff will evolve, but. Um, the, this now I, I said if you add the seven so if I add the one three 
five, seven. If I add that to the triad, I now have a major seventh chord. And that's what gives that that, that nice sound. It's the major seventh. You add the actual seventh from the degree of, of the scale, of the major scale. If it's D, if it's E, uh, uh, yeah, right. Uh, yeah. I, I wasn't any. Okay, I do that all the time, don't I? So, um, so here's the dominant seven, and that's the one uh, I was playing earlier. That's the one you hear all the. Blues, you hear it a lot in blues, but it also often introduces the fourth chord, which in C is F, C, D, E, F. So if you're playing along you know, country or, or rock, it doesn't. And I want to go to F very often. Uh, that is going to wants to go to the to the F, which is the fourth. And, and you should start to be able to follow along with this. It's not that complicated, really. So um, the dominant seven is made when you add a flatted seven to the triad. So if I have a, a, a seventh in, in C, it's a B note. Now there's my major seven. If I flat that seven, Now I have a dominant seven chord, always um, notated by uh, the name of the chord and a seven next to it. So C7, D7, E7, same rule, you add the flatted seven, and that's, that's what gives you the dominant seven. Most of the time, the fifth degree in a harmonized scale is a dominant seven. So there you are. That's how you make a seventh chord. Now, when you start to add extensions, like a minor seven chord, what do you think you do? Well, you make a minor chord by lowering the third one half step, so a flatted third. Let's take the major triad. Uh, let's take, well, we'll stay with C. I'm going to make it a minor by lowering the third, and then I'm going to add um, the flatted seven. So I have the, I have the, lower the third, add the flatted seven. So here's the seven. So I flat it, add that. And that's, that's how you do a minor seven. And um, the chord exchange, uh, extensions are built that way. So you learn what makes a, a minor chord, then you learn what makes a major seventh chord, then you learn what makes a dominant seven chord. Now, the only other thing I want to say now is that the um, all seventh chords, minor seventh, minor seven flat five, whatever, whatever minor seven thirteen, whatever extensions it has, um, uh, uh, indicate a flatted seven. The the only um, seventh chord that uses the actual seventh degree of the scale is a major seventh chord which is those flowery um, um, uh, chords with the seventh added. That's all I have after this, this moment, I got enough.